Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Philippians 2 verse 12. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. A New Living Translation. Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you. And now that I'm away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deeper reverence and fear. English Standard Version. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, right? The, sorry, the, the screenshot's kind of gone out of view, so I can't see it. It's zooming in, so I can't see the bottom. But I wanted to sort of focus on the fair, the New International Version and the New Living Translation, particularly at the bottom, where it says, continue to work out your salvation with trembling, right? Uh, that could be misunderstood, working out your salvation with fear and trembling. The, you know, depending on your experience with the word of God, it could easily be misunderstood to mean, you know, literally, you know, fear God, be scared of God. No, no, no. It, let's go on to the New Living Translation. It says, work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear. Okay, but it does also say, in some versions say, work out your own salvation. So this is clearly a man of God telling the church um, that, you know, when I've been with you, you've shown that you are faithful, you've shown that uh, you, you, are, you obey, you listen, you, you listen to instruction and what have you. Now that I'm not there, continue to work out your own salvation, right? Now, obviously, I've titled this uh, spiritual warfare is not only for the men or women of god um oh my gosh i don't I don't even know which angle to tackle this from it's such a broad topic right in the sense that let's just look at the scripture itself work out your own salvation now that i'm no longer with you work out your own salvation as a as an individual i've had to learn to ask myself questions to be excruciatingly honest with myself right and to tell the sooner you learn to be accountable to yourself and to tell yourself, not necessarily tell yourself off, but just admit and say, wow, God, I did that. Um, as, as I'm, as my walk with God is, 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 is going further. Um, I'm, I'm at a point now where, you know, I've had to learn since the pandemic, actually, I've had to learn to seek God for myself, to pray for myself, to, to fast, to study, to, because yes, men and women of God are there, but guys, they are not meant to do this work for you. They, they, they can't. They have their own salvation to work out, their own individual salvation. In as much as any, okay, um, I don't ever, ever confess to be any any anything specific in the church i don't confess to be a prophet i don't confess to be not nothing right i'm just a sister okay and um but you know you you may be listening and thinking wow you know and i do you know what i i absolutely appreciate i'm not going to pretend i love and appreciate the the interaction on the comment section and when when people share that their experiences are very much similar to mine they can relate to what i talk about because that's to, to me that's like oh gosh I'm, that's why i'm not the only one right that's reassuring okay and um, also you, th th this channel enables me to sort of you know interact with people who are also seeking god it's possible to be surrounded physically by people around you who may be seeking god but they don't understand god in the way that you do right or even if they do they're not seeking him the way that you are some people love god and they are powerful god has gifted them in so many ways but they compromise one way or the other you can't go around telling everyone no don't do that no don't do that don't fornicate don't do that there's only so much you can do apart from pray for people you, you know you can't keep you can't keep repeatedly telling people no that 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 isn't you know that isn't good in fact in my experience i've i've, I've tried to sort of tell people i love dearly uh, dearly you know people i've known since growing up and and kind of warn them about the, the the you know the dangers of ancestral worship because that's our background right and ancestral worship and the use of sangomas blah 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 and the fallout i got from that it, it's it's heartbreaking i'll tell you that now and so you have to understand that your walk with god when you really genuinely say god i just want you genuinely want you not 
not convenient not for convenience not because you're going to bless me now nah, don't get me wrong god's blessings are sweet right i'm not going to deny that but just i love you i just want you god i'm done looking for everything and anything else it hasn't got me anywhere am i in a position to look for a physical gain and of course i am yes i am right totally i i could um, but I, I feel blessed that I've reached a point where I think, no, no, you know, some of these endeavors are pointless. Yes, I could go out there and seek after more riches and seek after more money and seek after, you know, more men. And, and I could do that. But it's it's a waste of time. Right. It, it really is. And I, I thank God every day that has brought me to that realization that, all oh, right, just stop. This is pointless. It's futile. It'll get you nowhere. Just seek ye first the kingdom of God, honestly, well and truly. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. F 20 years ago, that scripture meant nothing to me. It was just a, 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 a necessary rhyme, pretty much. In fact, there was a necessary rhyme that says, seek ye first. I'm not going to sing it. I don't want to scare listeners of this channel but you know um it, you know seek here first the kingdom of god and, and that's what it comes down to and i was saying all this just to say men and women of god are here to to to, to how can i put this to lead by example yes they are anointed to do certain things some people are anointed to to to, to heal some people are anointed to teach some people are anointed to to deliver people from demons up, right? There's all those different uh, gifts that people have and they can use them. And actually, some people even choose to use their gifts for the kingdom of darkness. Because, guys, we are vessels, right? You yourself listening, you may not even know what vessel you are. You, you may have no idea. I remember about six, seven, eight years ago, a powerful man of God said to me, if you knew, you know, what, what your gifting is. And, and I can't even even claim that even to this day I've I have any idea what he meant but you know we all have a gift and some people have that spiritual insight that spiritual ability to see to look at a person and say yep this person is blessed this way or that way some people are prophetic that way right so we all but that doesn't make any of us any more special just because God has given us a gift that gift is to serve is to serve other people and so all this to say, work out your own salvation because you yourself are also a servant of the Lord. Just like all those men and women of God whom you think are powerful, whom you think are, God is using in a great and mighty way. He wants to use you in a great and mighty way. He wants to send you to people that those men, powerful men and women of God cannot reach. Guys, there's 7 billion people minimum on this earth. The most powerful man on earth cannot reach all those 7 billion people. He can't. There are people who are going to be reached by very, very small men and women path. Sorry, men and women of God. And by small, I mean small by our language, our human language. No one is small in the sight of God. God knows what he has invested in all of us. He said, he told Jeremiah, before you were conceived, I knew you. And, and you can believe he says that about you as well. Before you were born, I set you apart. He set you apart as well. Uh, he says to Jeremiah, I... I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. He ordained you as something to the nations. You, that's why it's your responsibility to work out your own salvation, right? Not only in the presence of any man or woman of God. Look, look at the scripture. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, uh, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Continue to work out your salvation on your own lonesome, on your own when no one cares, when no one's looking. Work your own salvation. Keep keep reciting that one scripture, that one scripture that makes you feel encouraged, that one scripture that makes you feel hope. Speak in tongues on your own when no one's watching. The number of times I saw in a church people go absolutely crazy when they see the man of God. They start speaking at different level of tongues and you think, Wow, five minutes ago you were talking, you know, the, 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 the prayer leader was praying on her own on the stage. You weren't even paying attention. But the minute you turned around and saw the man of God com coming, now you are, you, are, you are vibrating with tongues. Where did this come from? Just throwing a performance because you've seen the man of God. Guys, God himself, you don't even throw a performance for God. How about that, hey? How about you just lock yourself in a your room? And just give God one crazy performance of speaking in tongues. Give him a crazy performance of just blurting out the word of God. How about that? 
because he's the one it's it's about him it's about god your salvation has nothing to do with the man of god the man of god can do nothing for you even the most powerful of them even the ones that do deliverance that causes demons to speak out and scream and yell they can't do anything for you that god hasn't that god hasn't enabled them to do and god could very much tell them that if they see you they should just not even pay attention to you it's very possible so stop appealing to men and and by the way please I, i'm not this is to me as well let us stop appealing trying to appeal to people the bible says a cursed is the man that trusteth in a man right because he has made man his uh what does it say now it uses an expression his right arm or something like that that means you're, you're now counting can i just can i also admit um you know th there was a time when we, my family were going through some really really hard times horrible times you know the the, the, the uh, it was just a very dark time in my family and i used to attend this church and i literally oh my gosh i'd literally wait wait longingly for them from for the man of god just to see the man of god somehow somehow i felt that would give me hope and i felt that if i talked to him he might remember me in his prayers oh my gosh those those, those dark days little did i know little did i know what i was forfeiting and meanwhile the devil was literally dancing on our family because we didn't know any better guys pray for yourself by yourself fast by yourself for yourself train yourself to fast you don't have to be instructed by anyone to fast train yourself go crazy and do 40 days of 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 eating maybe just eat one specific dish or people do it every day when they're dieting you can do it for praying guys i will tell you though you will be challenged because those entities of darkness they don't even want you to discover the amount of power you could unlock if you could just go ahead and succeed if you could successfully pull a fast off you know that the, the, they know fully well demons know fully well just how dangerous you'd become they don't want you discovering that guys and again i testify the difference in my dreams before and after my 40 day fast a big huge difference huge difference before the 40 day fast i was literally this victim this demons just did whatever and I'm, when i say in my dreams i used to dream of ridiculous dreams guys honestly like the things you wouldn't even you'd say in real life how on earth i would never ever do that on earth that's because those demons were doing that whatever you dream in the dream guys it's happening okay and those demons were doing whatever they, they did whatever they wanted to me after the dream after the 40 day fast different story altogether god gives you more authority take yourself through these journeys take yourself in as much as you 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 sit down there and plan a beautiful uh, holiday travel trip for your family plan plan yourself a trip on just seeking god and don't aim to fight demons no the aim is to seek god again seek ye first the kingdom of god seek god and everything will follow that, that, that that's the most effective way to live your life seek god and that marriage you're looking for will follow seek god and that that you know the finances to buy that dream home will follow seek god and it starts in the spirit realm you're going to see a different experience in the spirit realm and then you'll know that the physical realm is about to manifest it's not only a matter of time before you start to enjoy the physical blessings but they're not going to happen as long as demons keep coming and stealing in your dreams they keep coming and, and you certainly don't know what to do about it because you've never been taught whatever you see happen in the dream cancel it if you wouldn't accept it in the physical realm if you wouldn't accept someone stealing your car in the physical realm don't accept it in the spiritual realm if you wouldn't accept walking over a pile of pool in the physical realm don't then don't accept it in the spiritual realm i say this because uh, again as a result of not working out my own salvation i used to consult a lot of people about dreams not even a lot of people some specific people who seemed knowledgeable knowledgeable about the spiritual things and i'd say well i had this dream what does it mean and they'd say oh actually that's a good thing they, they, you know they this basically spoke as though dreams work in opposites so if you see yourself receive money in the dream that should be a good thing actually that one is a bit misleading because actually don't ever receive money from someone you don't know even if you know them in the dream in the spirit realm why is someone giving you money in the spirit realm and unless it's jesus himself which by the way you have to be careful of because even the angel of darkness can pause as the angel of light so it takes a lot of 
it it, it's it it takes guys these are all you know experiences you're going to study and and ask god and pray over a long period of time it takes a while for god to train you through these things and, and bring you to an understanding right you've got to understand this look at joseph himself joseph started from a position of having a dream and not understanding what it means and telling it to to his brothers and his father which led to him being hated by his family and so they sold him into slavery right but by the end how did he become the prime minister of that of 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 of, of egypt the, the 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 deputy prime minister of egypt he was in, he interpreted the the king's dream pharaoh's dream and told him there's going to be a famine a famine i, I can never pronounce that word right and so we we need to prepare we need to pre and and the pharaoh is like you know what you just do that project that's your project you do that you carry that thing out and and lo and behold he became second in command in all of egypt from the from a place of not understanding what dreams meant because that's why he was just telling that dream to anyone and he was getting hated when he was a young boy to a being a grown to being a grown man who could interpret a king's dream a pharaoh's dream and when all the wise men had no idea what it meant only he did right that, that that's the place god takes you to your experiences are your training ground as painful as they are as inconvenient as they are that that's that's your that's your role to play on this earth as horribly as as, as unfair as some of these experiences have been it was unfair for joseph to be sold but you know what he worked out his own salvation in the end he became a uh, prime minister he became second in command that's the same for you your destiny is in exactly those experiences one day god god is taking you to a place and it'll make sense when you get there but in the meantime keep working out your own salvation don't wait for anyone to tell you what to do or to tell you how to pray or to tell you you know that just ask the holy spirit train yourself in asking the holy spirit and he'll show you things thank you for listening god bless you have a lovely day goodbye